one and a half hours of people trying way too hard to look tough. <laughs> Doesn't that sound amazing? Today we're taking a look back through all of the I'm Very Badass videos that we've made. And even just putting this compilation together, I couldn't believe how far we've come on the channel. You know, like for one, my face isn't in it. I sound different. I talk different. So yeah, if you haven't watched my old videos, that's a bit of a warning, guys. And yeah, let me know down below how far into this you get and definitely what you want to see next. And with that being said, enjoy some bad asses. If he loved you, he wouldn't have gotten you a Glock. You fire an entire clip at me and you might hit me three times. Three shots from a Glock isn't taking me down. What? <laughs> Anybody getting hit with three shots from a Glock is gonna go down? What are you talking about? Oh god, it's so embarrassing and nobody thinks these people are tough. Like, they think they're being tough. They I think everybody looks at them and they're like, oh my god, this guy's such an absolute badass. I wish I was as cool as them. No, dude. Everyone's reading that and they're being like, what's wrong with you? Maybe you've watched a few too many action movies, bro. I'm offering up these hands for sale to anyone that feels the need or the nerve to say a single word to me about a mask. Say something and see how I respond. Oh, what with a super angry comment, I'm sure. I'm so scared of you. Oh my god, you're so tough and scary. Like, jeez. Jesus Christ, get off the internet. <laughs> it's obviously not good for you. And you posted that in the Houston items for sale or trade group. Like there's people on here that are literally trying to sell their frying pan and they have to read that. <laughs> Lisa, this is not the time nor the place. The door is frozen shut. And it's the only way out. Lisa. This is neither the time nor the place. There is no greater example of beta behavior in modern culture than the promotion of vaccines. Literally all diseases are crushed when you're sub 20% body fat. No, no, that's too hard. Give me a get out of jail free card and let me keep my trash habit. Okay, weakling. <laughs> weakling. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh my God. Like, yeah, dude, that's good if you're really healthy. Absolutely. But there are so many other factors here other than your body fat. Like, oh. Oh my god. You don't actually think that everybody who's ever died from like any sort of disease, it was because they had more than a 20% body fat. You don't actually think that, do you, dude? <laughs> this guy just wanted a reason to call everyone a weakling. Yeah, whatever, dude. I guess everyone's just a weakling. Good for you. I think the title for this one was, What were you known for in high school? And this person says, The guy everyone tried to mess with, try and prove how much of a badass they were. All of them failed. And the guy who pissed off all the senior foot Ball players in 2010 lol oh yeah buddy everyone just tried to mess with me and they all failed because i'm the ultimate badass i'm the badass gatekeeper yeah i decide who's tough and who isn't guess what everyone failed i'm always so confused on this subreddit because like the least tough thing you could ever do is go online and write comments like this like that's so not badass <laughs> you know you think of like an actual badass the sort of person that these people think they are they wouldn't care about other people's opinions on the internet, they'd be too busy being a badass. Like these guys think they are. They live in a fantasy. I think this one has something to do with like a young kid or something. And this absolute dingbat comments, yeah, but I'll drop her as I have no care for life. So, you know, just a, not a very good person right out the gate. That immediately gets 29 dislikes. Calm down there, Satan. I'll make Satan look like a child when I'm done. Oh, don't they realize that they're just embarrassing themselves? You look like a moron when you say stuff like this, buddy. I'll make Satan look like a child when I'm done. That's how tough I am. My inner demons will come out and I will ruin the world. Oh my god, I am so scared. I just really hope it's not a fully grown man commenting this sort of stuff because at that point you just hope that they know better. But we know from experience that there are a lot of people that should definitely know better that don't. That's what really keeps me up at night. You pussy ass mother fricker think you can snitch on me? You funny as hell. I'll find you. Trust me. You best hide while you can. You ain't safe nowhere. I'm coming for your ass now. <laughs> oh, okay. I am so terrified. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone goes through a phase like this where they think they're super badass and super cool and they're like, dude, I am the son of Satan. No, you're not, buddy. <laughs> you're just like everybody else. No, I'm just kidding. You're an absolute badass. I'm so terrified of you. Please keep away. I'm a big, scary badass. <laughs> That's why I send people threatening Snapchat messages. <laughs> okay, man. I'm not trying to 
say, like, you should be a badass, by the way. Like, it's not good to be an actual badass either. You know, it depends what you think being a badass is. But, like, this sort of badass? No way. Conversation a few years ago for having my boots and spurs on walking in to pay for fuel for my truck and trailer with three horses on at the BP in Calcutta. Stranger. So you think you're a real cowboy? Me. You mean like John Wayne? Stranger. Shocked and appalled. Me. Do you mean the same John Wayne that used to belt people in the mouth for asking stupid questions? Me again. Or John Wayne Gacy, where you just end up missing. Stranger. Stops talking. <laughs> yeah, probably for a different reason, bro. They would have been like, ah, oh, you're insane. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking to you now. Like, that just didn't happen, did it, man? And if it did happen, which I highly doubt, it did not go like that. So you think you're a real cowboy, do you? Like, that literally sounds like a cowboy movie. Bro, I know you desperately want to be a badass, but this is not the way to do it. And then I rode my horse away and I, what, killed everyone. Okay. <laughs> you're such a big man, bro. Okay, so there's a comment on a post about an elderly woman accidentally walking into the wrong house. God, here we go. Scary. Hopefully they can find out who this is and talk to them. Sorry for the language. She's gonna frick around and come in the wrong house. Someone I don't know steps foot inside my house and you won't be reading about it on Facebook. You'll be reading about it in the obituaries. Oh, a killer. Kinky. Yeah, you're so cool, bro. And are you actually talking about killing an elderly woman that walks into your house? Because I bloody hope not. Or are you just talking about anyone? Literally anyone. Doesn't matter who they are. If they step foot on your land, you're gonna murder them, are you? <laughs> oh, you're so tough and scary. Like, you're just making yourself look like a moron, not a badass. My physique is all the weaponry I need. I work out hard every day and have been for years. The other day, some young guys in my backyard trying to steal my wheelbarrow. I stepped outside with no shirt on. Just stood there and stared at him. He simply slowly backed away to the gate looking at me in pure terror and left. I moved to the gate and watched as he ran as fast as he could down the street. My guns are all the guns I need. Like, yeah, you know, I'm glad that you only had your muscles and you didn't actually have a real gun on you. That's a good thing. But just no. Like, oh god. I bet you that didn't happen. Is this the that happened subreddit? There's so many lies on here. Look at me. This thing just happened that made me look really tough. Like either these things didn't happen or they just didn't happen the way that they say they did. Every single thing they say makes them out to be so cool and so tough. Like the biggest hero ever. I'm an epic alpha male. Like I'm so tough. And my physique is all the weaponry I need. This is the only place you will ever read that. Normal people, like no matter how in shape they are, just would never say that. My physique's all the weaponry I need. Like, yeah, good. You don't need to just carry guns for no reason. That's cool. But, like, how cringy. I could beat this guy in a fight. I'd even let him use his little stick just to make it fair. Dude, the guy who says he can beat people up on the internet probably couldn't beat up anyone. Badasses don't advertise that they're bad. That's exactly right. This badass does. I don't know what you look like or how much you deadlift, but I would still bet that I could chuck your ass through a third-story window from ground level. High school is a hell of a drug. Yeah, exactly. This is the sort of stuff that you'd say if you're in high school. Like, I'm so tough, bro. I'm an absolute legend. I could chuck you out of a third story window from ground level. I'm so strong. Yawn. <laughs> Just makes me exhausted. Like, stop talking. No one cares. Alright, a black and white picture of this guy looking super tough. I stopped fighting my inner demon and now we're both in one. Hashtag demon. Hashtag darkness. Hashtag inner demons. Hashtag goth. Hashtag evil eye. Hashtag hatred. <laughs> oh, God. I've never seen somebody hashtag hatred before before. And then you post a selfie of yourself. Is there anything less badass than posting a bloody selfie? <laughs> oh god. They think they're being so tough and cool, but they're doing the complete opposite of that. Like, not to say that there's anything wrong with posting selfies, but god. These guys are acting like they're these big badasses, and then they post a mirror selfie. <laughs> Doesn't that go against your entire message, man? I love when people try me. I just love it. Listen, I have years of pent-up anger, and I will unleash it and ruin you with zero hesitation. Try me. With a little emoji smiley face that looks like it's been pushed too far. Guys, I'm so bloody scared right now. I might have to leave today's video here. I just pissed off a TSA chick because I was taking off all my metal stuff. So my belt, my two cuffs, my waist chain, my necklace, my boots and my jacket. And the TSA girl just goes, wow kid, you have quite a bit of metal stuff. And I looked this fricker straight in the face and said, I'm more metal than you will ever begin to understand, you nerd. <laughs> sure not. If that's not a joke, I'm actually gonna cry. I'm more metal than you will ever understand, you nerd. It'd be rude if I didn't put the clip in, wouldn't it? Nerd! 
yeah, I'm an asshole. Do I care? No, it's 2020. I'm not letting Timmy, who dresses up as a princess, tell me what I can and what I can't say. Oh, you're a big hero, aren't you, bro? I'm a tough guy and I'm also really rude. Being like an edgy like this is the opposite of being tough. I think what I'm trying to say is like the people that they're trying to be wouldn't say stuff like this. This sort of stuff's embarrassing and I really hope they don't mean it. One good thing about people being super edgy is they usually don't mean it, you know. They're just trying to be cool. That's not a good thing, but hopefully like they don't actually think like this because that would be a worry. Downvote me all you want, but I'd love to pull out a knife on these assholes. They love to act so tough and bad. Let's see if they act like this with a knife pressing their neck. Oh my god, somebody help me. I'm so scared. <laughs> There's nothing more tough and manly than somebody making threats on Reddit. These guys have like the same amount of self-awareness as nice guys. All you oaks in the gym have the same legs. Spaghetti sticks. Learn how to gym and talk less. Maybe then you'd have some biceps. Like me. Taking selfies is all you specific oaks do. So funny. Big mouth. Nothing you say will ever change the fact that you're weak regardless of that testing you. Oh my god. Regardless of that test you injecting. Feeling good? Imagine we had to walk into each other. I promise you, you don't stand a chance. I've not been training 10 years for absolutely nothing. So be that big guy, spaghetti legs. Hey Google, please translate. All I learned out of that is I have spaghetti legs. Yeah, cool. Thanks, bro. I'm so happy that you're not like all these other beta males. Yo, screw the mother frickers that say dumb stuff. I'll pull up with 50 PLL at their doorstep. I don't give a frick. My last bite, I had 60 people and the kid peed because of how many people were there. What? <laughs> what are you saying? The kid peed because of how many people were there. What? <laughs> oh, this is painful, guys. I can't even imagine being this tough. <laughs> I wish I was this cool. The only threat I felt from wearing this hat was some foreign POS who was wearing an African flag on the back of their jacket. Seriously, he stalked me in Walmart, but he chose not to dance with the dragon. The dragon. <laughs> is that what you call yourself, buddy? I'm so scared. <laughs> this stuff's bloody exhausting. Like, the fact that there are actually people out there saying stuff like this unironically is bloody baffling. This is a comment on one of those slapping competition videos. I've been told to go to Russia and compete in this multiple times because of how hard I slap. Also because I've knocked people out with a simple slap and knocked them out without even trying. Wow. <laughs> wow. I knocked somebody out, bro. <laughs> I'm a big tough guy. Oh, by the way, I was being sarcastic. If you hurt the people I care about, I can make your death look like an accident. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm sure I've gone through a phase like this in my life. Like, I think everybody does. I just really hope they grow out of it. I just do him in myself. I've seen enough episodes of Forensic Files to cover up my bases and snitches get stitches. Is he talking about murdering someone? I've seen enough episodes of Forensic Files to cover my bases. Okay? <laughs> Probably not how it works man. These sorts of guys remind me so much of incels. Both incels and these sorts of people try so hard and they try so hard to be edgy. To be fair, these people are a lot funnier than incels. Incels are actually scary, but I'm seeing some serious similarities here. Say that to me in reality and I would knock you out. That's Roblox, isn't it? <laughs> the ultimate badass game. Everybody knows that if you're a real tough person, you play Minecraft. I'm not even being sarcastic. I love Minecraft. I'm not going to visit you when you get arrested. What's saying I get caught. Why do you want to kill? I don't know, like just something. I think it would be cool to slice something with a katana and watch the blood spill out and then do the sword flick and make an arc with the blood. <laughs> yep, this guy watches anime alright. They did say, I think I would like to slice something. Not necessarily a body, but I think that's what they were implying. I understand how interesting murder stuff is. I know the documentaries are fun. They're exciting. They're interesting. You can't get away with that sort of stuff. You just know that these people watched a few movies and they were like, oh yeah, I want to do that. That's so cool. I'm different. I'm a murderer. I'd be a celebrity for a day. Once those mofos started getting in my face and hindering my ability to operate a vehicle safely, I'd be out my door bashing heads and breaking cameras. Lol. Oh yeah, dude. I'd do this if this happened to me. If I were you, I would have done this. What are people like that called? Armchair quarterbacks? You're sitting at home and you're telling everybody else what you would do in their situation like that and how you would have done things better and different and more tough and more badass. Have a bit of self-awareness, dude. Come on. The devil asked me how I knew my way around the halls of hell. I told him I don't need 
need a map for the darkness that I know so well. <laughs> also, I'm pretty impressed that that rhymed, but I'm also terrified. I'm best friends with Satan. Hell yeah, bro. This is like the least badass stuff of all time. <laughs> Snapchats and comments on Reddit and Facebook conversations. Like, none of this stuff is badass. But no, dude, don't mess with my demons. <laughs> okay? This t-shirt, cry me a river and then drown yourself in it. This sort of thing makes me sad. <laughs> That's just like a message to everyone. Why are you so angry, bro? Drown in a river of your own tears. What did I do to deserve this? Bro, my whole team and I used to bareface headbutt the other school's locker room before every game for the hell of it. Concussions are weak. <laughs> You're not a badass. You're not tough. You're being an idiot. Concussions are weak. Oh my god. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I'm a 260 pound corn fed soldier that breaks punching machines at bars for fun. I'll gladly take on any 125 pounder. I'm bloody exhausted guys. These guys are trying so hard and putting so much effort into this stuff that it's taking my energy away. When I walk in the street like this, so many people get scared of me. I wonder why, lol. This is too much. <laughs> like, okay, you're a big tough guy. You hate everyone. You're mean to everyone. I feel like these sorts of guys are just angry all the time for no reason to. The Punisher tattoo really completes it. I feel like these people would walk down the street and go to random people and be like, do you want to fight? Just mad at everybody. <laughs> I mean, he's obviously beta as hell. I'd be all over that crap and chase a mother fricker down and pistol whip his ass. Someone needs to go to man school. Oh, oh, this is actually kind of sad. Bro, I'm a real man. I pistol whip people. <laughs> Embarrassing. Lift heavy, eat meat, compete, take risks, have sex, be manly. <laughs> have sex and be manly. Holy hell, that's the best shirt I've ever seen. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> You'd almost have to be a tough guy to wear a shirt like that. I'd be so worried if I was walking around with a shirt like that. There was this girl who called me a moron a couple of months ago. She disappeared shortly after that. I have nothing to do with her disappearance. What? Are you implying that you killed a girl because she called you a moron? Wow, dude. <laughs> this should be on the That Happened subreddit because that's definitely not true. I get a thrill when a woman tells me I'm a real asshole. I play like I don't know what they're talking about, but I know it's because I'm heartless and show no emotion. Why are you acting like that's a good thing, dude? You may find me dead in a ditch somewhere, but by God, you'll find me in a pile of brass. What, like bullets or shells or whatever? All right, dude. <laughs> Bro, if I'm going down, you're coming with me. Watch out for me. I'll literally shoot you. <laughs> like, this is not funny. You shouldn't threaten people with this sort of stuff. Yeah, I'll be dead in a ditch somewhere, but so will literally all of humanity. I am terrified. In light of people threatening me, I would just like to remind you, I own several of these, so pull up. I need an excuse to use them. Oh, no. No. Don't solve your bloody problems with guns. Oh my god. I keep reading about all this horrific stuff. People would literally just be in an argument and it won't even be that serious and someone just pulls out a gun. That's not how you solve your problems. You're not tough. You're an idiot. <laughs> like, let's be honest here. This is not cool. If you live in a free state like I do, you wouldn't need to wear a mask in the first place. Free states for the win. I don't wear a mask in my state and people don't bully me because they see the 45 sitting on my hip and the 9mm on the other side. Lol. Ah uh, yes, laughing out loud because I'm literally carrying guns and people are rightly a little bit scared of you. It's not that big of a problem until they get into the hands of the wrong people, you know? If you're a really good person and you have really good morals, like yeah, fine, you're not just gonna go use that. You more than likely don't need to have it on you, but you know, if you are worried about it and you know that you're more than likely not gonna use it, then that's good. But it's the people that you don't know about. Like, I wouldn't trust anyone like that. You don't know what sort of mental state they're in. And the fact that it's that easily accessible is just really scary. They might not be in a good state of mind, you know? And like, oh, it's really freaky. I don't like any of this sort of stuff. And like the people that brag about it and act like they're being cool because of it, that's a big worry too. They act like they're toys. Like, no, dude, this is not a video game. I'm 14, there is several guns and I also have knives and no problem using them. I'm insane. No! <laughs> Stop this! Vince is gonna cry. I need a wholesome Simpsons clip right now. If everyone here were like Ned Flanders, there'd be no need for heaven. We'd already be there.
Ah, <laughs> much better. I really hope you're not actually insane. I hope you're just joking and I'm gonna pretend you are even if you're not. <laughs> Moving on. Warning, resident or not, if you tailgate me on the way in, I will stop my vehicle after entering, blocking all incoming traffic. You will wait until I exit my vehicle and have a conversation with you. It won't be pleasant. These are photos of my truck, here's my cell phone number and here's my address. Like, yeah, I hate people who tailgate as well. And like, maybe, honestly, some people who tailgate all the time probably do deserve, like, the person to get out and go off at them. But it's not the answer, bro. Maybe this person gets tailgated all the time and they're just so sick of it. But it feels like this sort of person is just looking for a fight. <laughs> like, they probably haven't even been tailgated at all. Here's my phone number, here's my address, come and fight me. Is it just me or does someone need to make a grocery store that's themed around working out where you'd really be able to feel the burn? When I'm walking around with my shopping cart, I like to lift it up on the front wheels over and over again so I can get some lifting reps. But after about 500 reps with a full cart of groceries, it barely feels like my biceps have endured <laughs> any strenuous activity. I feel like the rough kind of guy like me wants a grocery store where he can carry a cart full of groceries up a flight of stairs. How about a 300 bottle of ketchup that would require a big, bad, tough guy to squat lift it onto a loading cart? Us guys who provide for our family spend a lot of time in the grocery store and we could <laughs> and we could be using this time to exercise our bodies and minds. Who else thinks we should have something like this? Like, honestly, that would be hilarious and I wouldn't be opposed to seeing it. That would be a whole bunch of fun. I'm totally sure. But at the same time, buddy, you can go into a grocery store and you can get out of there within 15 minutes. You don't have to spend long in there. So I think it wouldn't really be worth the grocery store's time to turn it into a gym. Go in and buy your food and go out and then go to the gym or go for a run or something. That's like when Homer put a toilet in his armchair in the lounge room. You expect people to go to the bathroom in their living rooms? Sure, believe me, every man in America will want to have one. Like, yeah, it'd be kind of good, but it's pretty unnecessary. I own both guns and a garden. I plant seeds to create life. I have bullets in case I need to end life. They're not synonymous, like, at all. Oh, sorry, you said synonyms. Okay, yeah, well, guns and garden, they're really not synonyms. There are lots of times when you're doing gardening where a gun just wouldn't be helpful at all. Can one of you guys explain to me what this this person's talking about because I don't understand. Like, what are you trying to say? I just took on three guys trying to rob the liquor store. Just me and a Coke bottle. I got back just in time to watch the game. I guess those idiots picked the wrong liquor store. Little did they know their worst nightmare was getting soda. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, at least with people like this, you can be pretty certain that that didn't happen. That's so much like a that happened post. But like, on the other hand, I really hope that this isn't true and I really hope you're not actually bragging about that and on the other other hand maybe they actually did a great thing and maybe these people were like really awful <laughs> and like yeah well <laughs> maybe they're not so crazy and maybe they're not so wrong but we don't have any context so we're just going off what they tell us and the main thing that we know really is that a lot of people lie on the internet here we have some TikTok comments these will be good I had to watch it twice to get the joke how it was so obvious for some people it takes a little to actually connect the joke together, well screw them. I'd say to try to not hold so much unnecessary aggression towards those people. There are far worse traits you can use your aggression against. I have a very aggressive demeanor when I'm very angry at someone. I tend to actually get much calmer and trust me, I'm freaking terrifying when I'm calm. Same lol. <laughs> Bro, I'm literally terrifying. Watch out for me. I go, alright buddy, you're on TikTok, okay? <laughs> Let's have a little bit of self-awareness, please. I'm an absolute badass and when you mess with me, I get calm. But it's not a nice calm, it's a terrifying calm. Like I could pounce at any second and kill you. I am so scared. I'm smiling. That alone should scare you. Wow. <laughs> I'm the Joker. Dude, I literally live in a society. Everything is so awful. <laughs> I'm a demon inside a human body. Oh, dude, this never gets old. Dude, trust me, you wouldn't even talk to me like that in real life. Nah, that one's actually true. Like, a lot of trolls and a lot of people that are just super rude on the internet definitely wouldn't say those things in real life. But I think in this case, they're like, oh, you wouldn't dare say that to me because I'm way too tough. I'd end you because I'm a demon. But in the other context, that is true, you know. 
know, I think that's why a lot of trolly sort of mean people really like the internet and really like comments because they can leave awful anonymous comments and no one ever knows it's them. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't think that's what this person meant. If I broke into your house and stole what's on top of your fridge, what would I get? A knife to the neck because you wouldn't even make it to my fridge. Yeah, well, you know, you are talking about breaking into somebody's house. So like that kind of takes away a bit of the badassery because I feel like a lot of people would probably try and attack you if you came into the house. I'm not saying this is okay, <laughs> but you kind of put yourself in this situation. You could have been like, what's on top of your fridge? Not like I broke into your house and stole what's on top of your fridge. Like there's just bloody boxes of Panadol on top of my fridge. There's nothing there that you'd want to take. I love weed and I'm only 10. You're so young. That's against the law. Why do you do that? I'm a savage. No way. <laughs> I really hope that's real because that's like a perfect representation of like everybody when they were 10. Bro, I love weed and all these cool things. I'm a stone cold savage. That one's almost wholesome in a weird way because it's bringing back all these memories of when I was young and thought I was really cool. I don't miss. I'd much prefer these shots landing elsewhere. You know who you are. <laughs> oh, oh god, okay. Are you talking to me? <laughs> who are you talking to? Do they know who they are? Should they be worried or laughing right now? Yeah, I'm sure they're terrified. So I had an epiphany. Don't run me off the road when I'm doing 120 and you're doing 65. Because if I have time to follow you, I'll kill you. Wow. <laughs> How fast is 120? 120 miles an hour is like 200 kilometers per hour. <laughs> you're the one that's driving like an idiot, bro. Not them. But I just had an epiphany. I'll kill ya for driving normally. God damn, that's so funny. Be forewarned. Anybody hassles me about wearing a mask is gonna get way more than what they asked for. They didn't ask for anything. The only thing they're asking is for you to put your mask on. So <laughs> yeah, I'll do that and then some. What else can I do for you, kind sir? I'll gladly put on my mask and not be annoying. Oh, that's so wholesome. You're gonna just stand there and bleed. <laughs> What's with these guys in their super badass clothes that have just the writing on the back? You're gonna be swimming in a pool of your own blood. Yeah, all right, dude, with the Facebook shirt. You're so scary. To everyone, morning. To everyone, morning everyone, sips blood. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. <laughs> good morning, vampires. How are you? Being called a monster, called a demon, called a fake. I'm not an idol, not an angel or a saint. Oh, sorry, I'm not an angle. <laughs> good to know, dude. I walk alone. I always have. I'm not ashamed. I, a living nightmare from the cradle to the grave. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> okay, dude. As you blow out a whole bunch of vape smoke. Hell yeah, bro. I am so scared of you. But the most important thing, and I'm super glad about this as well, you're not an angle. You know what? I'm actually not either. If my game is touched by my girl, she knows what will come next. Oh god, I don't like how this is going already. If she uses the line, it's just a game. Trust me, I'll use the line. It's just a face. Baby, it's just clothes. You aren't dead. It's just a hospital bed. Never mess with a man's game. Nah, dude, you've got issues. Who cares how much you like your game? Don't treat anybody like this. God damn. And the ironic thing is, if you treat a girlfriend like this, you're not going to have a girlfriend for long. Whatever you do, don't touch my Fortnite. You will feel my wrath. You're never too old for cute. That's what I say. Actually, you are. Stuff is cute until you have to work hard, LMAO. If you find stuff cute, then you're really privileged. Those that work from paycheck to paycheck don't find anything cute. They'd stab a baby to live, but they can't because of laws. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a tough guy. I'd stab a baby. Why would you ever need to stab a baby to live, dude? Sounds like you need to change your attitude, bro. Like, for real. Oh, goddamn babies. They're so adorable and they don't have to work. And oh, I'm just gonna stab one. Yeah, dude. That's not badass. Yeah, uh, don't do that, dude. I'm a simp, a lover, a sketch artist. If you hurt my Jasper, I will hurt you in numerous different ways. R uh, slash I am very badass. Yeah, thank you. But please don't mess with my Jasper. Who's Jasper, by the way? And also, I feel like this person's joking. Like, that's a pretty funny thing to tweet. I'm a simp. I'm a lover. I'm a sketch artist. If you hurt my Jasper, I'll hurt you in numerous different ways. Feel like this person could be pulling our leg. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. Before anyone asks, nothing has been stolen. Bomb squad are in the area. Anybody know what's been going on? I've been told it's a hand grenade. Been there, done that, so I'm not concerned. <laughs> oh, I I know my way around a hand grenade, don't 
don't you worry, buddy. We're gonna sort this out just fine because I am a badass. Like, I feel like this entire post was just a brag. Like, hey, look at me. <laughs> I'm a tough guy. Lisbon to me closely. Never run away like that again. I am to be respected. I am the predator. And you are my quarry? Huh? I will catch you. Oh, God. Okay, dude. Lisbon here. I'm from Portugal. And like, just the fact that somebody is saying that to someone else on Discord <laughs> is kind of hilarious. Like, I will catch you. <laughs> I'm a big tough guy on my Discord server. And like, other people don't need to hear this sort of stuff, you know? Like, come on, buddy. Let's play nice. You and your friends have to try and survive Jason at this campground in Arizona. So you go to this place and you pay these people. This guy just chases you around but doesn't actually kill you. Hell yeah. I would be that one person that was told not to bring a gun, shoot Jason 10 times in his face, go to jail and say it was all the campground's fault and then say it wasn't me. Oh my god. Bro, this is all for fun. It's not actually Jason, you dingbat. Imagine if you actually went to a place like that where this guy was just dressing up and having fun and you actually shot him. Like, oh, cool, bro. My life's a movie. I'm actually sort of worried about that. It looks awesome too and it's kind of a good idea but like surely people would kind of attack that guy because like it's terrifying and like are there safe words or something like if you actually got too scared and you didn't want this guy to chase you anymore like what do you do then? This guy in the comments has an idea but I don't think that's the answer. There are several people walking amongst me that are only alive because I'm deathly afraid of prison. True story. <laughs> You're only alive because there's laws and I'm not allowed to kill you. You know like the thing is that's probably true like in a little bit of a way. If there were no laws I'm sure a lot of people would kill a lot of people. Being a lone wolf ain't so bad. Anybody get too close just snarl at them. It does wonders. Screw social distancing. <laughs> Dude you just said if anybody gets too close to snarl at them. It sounds like you want social distancing. Nah, dude, screw social distancing. I'll just bite your face off because I'm a lone wolf. But also, please stay away from me because I want you to social distance. Screw my anger, people messing me over. That was the first hit, LMAO. Oh, dude, come on. You've got to control your anger and channel it into something positive, like working out or bloody, you know, something. You can't let your anger run your life, dude. Stop punching doors, okay? You got this. Yup, my favorite pastime when dealing with these frauds is just describing in great detail how I'm currently making a video game character that looks how I imagine they look and all the ways I'm currently dismembering, disemboweling, and murdering them. Left one with her voice shaking so badly it sounded like she was gonna cry last week. Oh, <laughs> icky, 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 gross, gross, yuck. By the way, somebody made a meme on Twitter today. <laughs> we'll just put it on the screen now. It was so funny. But yeah, there's a few problems with this one and I hope you sort them out. So this was a response to somebody asking if they were nervous about starting a business. I've conversed with you know what. I've had dinner with killers. I've done business with psychopaths. I've seen dead bodies. I got stabbed when I was 11. I had a gun put in my mouth when I was 15. I was quitting your job to start a business scary. Don't kill me. You think that's scary? Lol. Oh, cringe, dude. <laughs> Even if that is true and all of those things happen, like, it's still so cringy. And also, it's just definitely not comparable to starting a business. Like, it's not the same kind of scary whatsoever. But obviously, they don't care. They just want to say that. Hello, everybody. I'm a badass. In case y'all didn't know, I practice witchcraft. Have been for a while now. You know who you are. Don't mess with my family and I. I got a kind heart, but as soon as you mess with my family, you're doomed. When Mo has the voodoo doll of Bar and it makes him want to drink duff. That's all I can think about right now. I'm sorry, I know you're a badass, but I just want to think about The Simpsons. Damn it. It fell apart like everything else I've ever believed in. Ah, oh, I guess it's back to good old-fashioned voodoo. Wow, I need a drink. Come with me. When you sting my baby and hurt her, this is what happens slowly. Who are you talking to? Flies? Oh, I won't sting your baby. Or you'll rip all my arms and legs off. Okay. This is a warning to all you flies out there. Don't mess with my baby. If I hear any crap about Valentine's Day on Sunday, I'll personally kick the crap out of them with a damn baseball bat. I mean, hey, it wouldn't be the first time. What, you're going to kick somebody with a baseball bat? You're just going to hurt your foot, dude. A kid came 
came up to me today and kept bragging to me how he had a Valentine's. So I just beat the crap out of him with a baseball bat like I said. Oh. <laughs> oh, stop it. This comment, I'm surprised that this guy doesn't have someone special to celebrate Valentine's Day with. <laughs> yeah, dude, you don't sound very nice. I'm sorry to say. And you know what? I don't think I'm being out of line by saying that. You're giving us quite a few clues here. You know, like saying that you're going to beat the crap out of everybody with a baseball bat. That'll do it. I would personally break you, bro. Aw, do you want to fight? <laughs> I would personally snap you like a twig. Some of y'all done piss me off. I'm really bad to stop being the nice guy. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done. I challenge any female tweeting unironically with hashtag masculinity so fragile to last three rounds against me in a fight. We'll see who's fragile. Bro, that's like the most fragile thing anybody could ever say. <laughs> the fact that you feel like you need to fight these women. Oh my god, you just don't understand, do you dude? Like this top comment, that's unironically ironic. The ironing is delicious. <laughs> the ironing is delicious. The word is irony. Huh? Brick Halloween, I'll show y'all a real monster. Oh, I'm so terrified. Unless you actually have a real monster somewhere. Hey, here's my buddy Steve. But if you're referring to yourself as that monster dude, <laughs> please don't. Because you're a human, just like everybody else. Oh my god, yeah, we read this one the other day. When a nice guy with a halo emoji loses patience, the devil shivers. Oh my god. <laughs> Watch out, there's a nice guy on the loose. Don't you reject him, that's how you you piss him off. Everybody be careful. He's known to flip out for absolutely no reason. He'll say a whole bunch of really awful stuff to you, but then he'll follow it up with, I'm a nice guy. AKA, he's insane. Have you forgotten what it means when a dog shows his teeth? Let me break it down for you. He's about to attack you. Hashtag beast of burden. Hashtag harm before the storm. Hashtag rise. Hashtag breathe. Hashtag pain of being a man. Wait, so you definitely are talking about yourself, dude? He looks like he's about done with everybody's crap. He's a dog and he's about to bite. I'd be careful with that language. I'd be careful using Reddit. I know how to hack. I know how to hack. Grow the hell up. It's all fun and games until you literally get stream sniped. You're 13. Shut up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's all fun and games until I ruin your match. <laughs> I barely even know what stream sniped means. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I'll mess up your game. <laughs> like, it's not really a big threat, is it? It. And also, don't you have to be streaming to get stream sniped? I don't think this really adds up, buddy. Your wife has been kidnapped and is being held in a location 30 minutes away. You're driving to rescue her. It's a warm night and your windows are down. Do you listen to music on the drive there? Yes or no? Yeah, these are really important questions, aren't they? Yeah, I get it. Like, it's a thought exercise. But I hope that never happens to any of these people. Sorry, I don't hope that happens to anybody. Nah, the music will make it harder for me to talk to my other personalities and figure out the best way way to kill and torture the kidnappers. <laughs> Is this guy using having like multiple personality disorder a way for him to like flex that he's a badass? Okay. <laughs> Bit of a weird flex, but okay. You know, I get it. It seems like, oh, you know, I'm just crazy. I'm going to murder this guy. I'm talking with all the other people in my head about how I'm going to kill and torture the kidnappers. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's a bit of a weird one. But honestly, I think you'd have to listen to music on the way, surely. You know, like you're not going to listen to a podcast or an audio book, but maybe put something on. No Asian hate. You try that crap with me and I'll put you in the ground. Okay, like that's a good message. I agree with you, but calm down, dude. <laughs> like the title says, I agree with the sentiment, but you're coming on a little strong there, bud. Okay, so the title of this one says, my colleague sent me this when I pointed out that he hadn't met a deadline during a Zoom meeting, despite it affecting everyone else's deadline. Ah, well, but you can get yourself something nice with that vibe. Well, aren't you generous? Ah, <laughs> you're welcome. You should and have double crossed me. You've made my dark side come out. I am an unstoppable force when pushed too far. Mercy is not in my dictionary. <laughs> oh. And this guy's saying this stuff unironically. He's actually trying to be intimidating. <laughs> oh no. There's something so funny and scary about that. You shouldn't have double crossed me. You've made my dark side come out. Oh. <laughs> like this top comment says, if he's joking, then it 
it's hilarious. If he's not, it's still hilarious just for different reasons. Yeah, like he's probably joking. I hope he is. It'd be really funny if he was kidding. I'm an unstoppable force. Okay, so this one is a comment on a combat video, like an MMA video or something. Not real, lol. I happen to train in this art. It's as real as you get. This art is thousands of years old and is extremely deadly. Those sticks are the real deal. Hardened bamboo called a rattan? 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 If you don't think it's real, I'll give you two sticks and I'll use just my hands and let's go toe to toe, buddy. I'll even go helmetless and you can pad up all you want. But 15 seconds into it, I've taken both sticks from you. I'm going to swing my hardest at your freaking head. And when you wake up bleeding all over the mat, your tune will definitely change. Not realistic, lol. <laughs> Is high school too rough on you, buddy? Yeah, why are you getting so upset about some random comment on YouTube? And apparently the sticks aren't even made out of bamboo, so more than likely doesn't know what he's talking about. There's nothing less badass than having like an online feud in the YouTube comments, especially with somebody that you don't even know. God, dude, do something else. Okay, so apparently this person just said that their profile picture looks weird, and that's all they said. Mad. Your mum's gonna freaking die because she's so fat. Freaking loser with your 187 followers, no type of homies. Lame ass Mark. Your dad's a lame too. I'll beat the hell out of all you lames. Yeah, that's what I thought, B Arch. Go ghost mode. Can't handle this. Okay, dude. <laughs> no, you're just a freaking lame. Yeah, so offensive. And also, if that's how you react to somebody saying that you have a funny looking profile picture, how would they react in like a serious situation? Like, oh no, my profile picture looks weird. Who cares? Saying that he's going to beat up their dad and them. Lame ass Mark. Wow. Some people are just too tough. Just a warning, I have a lot of pent up aggression right now. So when we go back to school, I will be a bitch and I will not hold back. <laughs> oh my God. That's not how you deal with your aggression. You don't just take it out on other people. That's some lame stuff right there, Mark. I have a lot of pent up aggression. So I'm going to take it out on people that are undeserving and did nothing wrong. No, don't do that. Be a good person. Okay. So this one is on a post about one of those guards that guard the queen. I'd shove that hat so far up his ass. He'd think he grew hair on his teeth. Yeah. You clearly don't know the power of an assault rifle. Yeah, buddy. I got a feeling you wouldn't grab a guard hat and shove it up their ass. You know what? And I think I'm right in saying that. These people are all just keyboard badasses. Like, you're on a bloody computer. Calm down. You're not going to do anything to the Queen's guards. And look, people aren't impressed when they read this. They're like, oh God, what's wrong with that guy? Okay, so this one is like talking about drill fittings or cleaning fittings or something. I can clean those by hand just as fast. Just saying. At the end of the day, after cleaning a ton of fittings, his hand won't be aching though. Maybe not, but my forearms are huge and I could crush a man's skull with my grip. Lol. And no matter what, a plumber's hands are gonna hurt at the end of the day. Edit, found the bitches. My forearms are huge too, but for a different reason. Eww, yucky, yucky, yucky. <laughs> icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. Found the bitches. <laughs> wow, dude. My forearms are so huge and my strength is so powerful. I could crush your skull. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that. I don't know why people feel like they need to tell people this sort of stuff. I want everyone to know that I'm a badass. Okay, so this is in a Pokemon Go Discord. I guess I'm out of practice. And it's him with the bloody archery target. And like, they're not very good groups, dude. I must say, I'm into archery. I know, like, that's not too bad. They all hit the target. Well done. But like, dude, I wouldn't be flexing that. Like, if you get like a tight group within like a few centimeters, like, dude, that's sick. Look at me. I'm an elf from Lord of the Rings. But also, you're in a Discord server specifically for Pokemon Go. Why would you put that in there? <laughs> I guess I'm just out of practice because I actually do things unlike you guys. Well, leave the group then. You don't stay in a group just to make fun of people. Well, I guess I'm out of practice. <laughs> Give me your soul. Oh God. Okay, dude. <laughs> I am the soul collector. You know, I think we've all been through a phase like this. I know I have. I've never posted pictures like that, but I think everybody goes through a cringy time where they think they're super tough or super badass or like super different and super cool. You know, it's perfectly fine. Do you even know what it's like to see the light drop from someone's eyes? Do you even know what it's like? Absolutely. It's a sacred moment to drink the soul from my adversary's eyes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bro, don't say you're going to drink somebody's soul unironically. Like if you're actually being serious, 
this. Yes, I will drink your soul. Cringe. <laughs> if I don't want to do something, it's just not going to happen. Here's your tip. Screw you. Dude. Like, yeah, if you're not going to tip, whatever. But, like, these people probably don't want to be doing their job. They probably did a good job. And you're going to write that on there? Oh. <laughs> Why are people like this? Maybe I just have murderous thoughts with this knife in my hand. <laughs> okay. What a badass. I could beat this guy in a fight. I'd even let him use his little stick just to make it fair. The guy who says he can beat people up on the internet probably couldn't beat up anyone. Badasses don't advertise that they're bad. This badass does. I don't know what you look like or how much you deadlift, but I would still bet I could chuck your ass through a third story window from ground level. High school is a hell of a drug. Yeah, that's so true though. Like actual badasses aren't going to be on the internet trying to prove to other people that they're a badass because that's not a badass thing to do. You know, like not that you want to be like any of these people, obviously, but I feel like it's pretty badass to just not care what people think. And these sorts of people really care what people think because otherwise they wouldn't be posting this sort of stuff. No cap, this dude would have had a broken nose and a few missing teeth if he scared me like that. <laughs> Doubt it. I just normally go into fight mode when I'm scared. Yeah, guys, I've had enough badasses for today. Let's do a couple of wholesome memes. My cat sleeps all day so he can protect me from ghosts all night. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, Chico's on the bed right now and he's asleep because he saves me from ghosts and monsters in the night. That must be what they do. Grandma, you're such a handsome young man. Me, hopping out of the shower. Are you sure? Thank you. Millhouse, at least my mum thinks I'm cool. But my mom says I'm cool. My response email to Discord has been sent, and boy, was it a juicy one. Truth is, I like being underestimated. I gave the owner a chance. He never responded. Too bad, so sad. Many of you, I'm sure, are skeptical of the power I have to bring this server down, but I don't really care. They're in the wrong, and I have the knowledge and the evidence to bring it down. I'm not suing a Discord server. That's stupid. I'm suing Discord. Discord if they don't take down an entity they own that violates their terms of service and that also violates United States law. I'm not a fraud or some bald loser that got his feelings hurt. I am the danger. Well, <laughs> I was trying so hard not to laugh during that. Oh my God. I am the danger. <laughs> God, I am so terrified right now. <laughs> I can't even tell you guys how scared I am. Like, how does this guy reckon he's going to sue Discord? You don't think they'd have real Really good lawyers. All I can think about right now is Lionel Hutz. Mr. Burns, I've got a paper trail a mile long. <laughs> yeah? And a paper trail a mile long. Yes, well, I have ten high-priced lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I just gotta say thank you to this one for putting up with my dumb ass and all my crap. And I can't wait until tomorrow. I love her to death. I swear, and I will kill a biatch for her. I'm not gonna lie. I will kill for her. I would die for her. I did it for you, Marge. I'd kill for you. Please ask me to kill for you. <laughs> no. And if you got a problem with her or with me and her together, say it to my face and I swear to God I ain't scared to beat a bee archer's ass. But if you ain't got shot to say to my face, you just a little, you know what, bee arch and can go suck a ding dong. Wow. <laughs> I really, really adore the fact that you love this person so much that you're willing to say that. You obviously really care about this person. Some things you should just keep in your head <laughs> and not put on Snapchat. Hey, it's just an idea. I realized how strong Rottweilers were by playing tug of war with my girlfriend's Roddy. That thing would kill me no problem. I can only imagine the power behind a bear's bite. Nice post, OP. No dog is killing me unless it gets fortunate enough to grab me squarely by the throat. Also, no dog has ever killed someone once you stick your fingers into its eye sockets. Oh, ew. Ah, oh, icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. This entire situation, this entire post, <laughs> this entire post in this entire subreddit. Get me out of here. BRJ study murder. I'm pretty sure I could finish you off before you even say help. Gru being the bigger person. BRJ, I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, this is so crazy. <laughs> Why are people like this? Surely they're just trying to impress people. Like they just want to seem tough on the internet, which is just not tough. <laughs> so weird. Your attitude may hurt me, but mine can kill you. Oh my God. 
God. I am so worried right now. I don't even understand how you could be that terrifying. Like, oh my God, get out of this guy's way. Stay away from my girlfriend. She don't like you when you annoy her. Don't message her anymore. Um, who is this and who is your girlfriend? It's Monica, idiot. What the hell's wrong with you? Trying to steal someone's girlfriend. Get your own, you freaking loser. Uh, Monica, like the girl I work with, like the girl that I message once every few weeks to ask if she can cover my shift. Yeah, I know how you guys work. You act like it's just for work, but I've seen the messages. You want to freak her. And I'm telling you to back the hell off before I beat your lonely ass. Dude, firstly, you're an over-controlling idiot if you criticize every guy she ever talks to. And secondly, how do I put this? I have a boyfriend, as in I'm in a relationship with a guy. Yeah, of course you do. You just say that so I don't beat your ass for trying to hit up my girl. This is my boyfriend. We're in a gay relationship. We go on gay dates and we gay kiss each other. We sometimes lay in bed and gay cuddle together. Are you getting the hint yet? Okay, yeah, I get it. But do you really got to be all up in my face about it? <laughs> I've got nothing against gay people, but you don't got to throw your sexuality in my face, dude. Bro. <laughs> oh my god. I don't understand how any relationship like that could be healthy ever. If you're this bloody controlling about your partner. Yeah, not cool. Who is this? Oh, sorry, man. I think I added the wrong guy. Take care. Lol, I bet. You freaking coward. <laughs> how? <laughs> how are they a coward? Oh my god. <laughs> they literally said sorry for adding the wrong guy. Are you nuts? <laughs> the answer is yes. These people are finding any reason they can to prove to other people that they're super tough. Like in this situation here, these people do not deserve this. They haven't done anything and they don't even know who they are. They just want them to know that they're super tough. It's just like nice guys. If you have to prove that you're really nice and you have to try and convince somebody that you're a nice person, <laughs> you're probably not. The same thing with these people trying to convince everyone that they're super tough and super cool. Why do you feel like you need to convince everyone then? That's not very tough and cool. I think this is the same one from before. I don't live in darkness. Darkness lives in me. Oh my god. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight. Wait a second. He doesn't live in darkness. The darkness lives in him. Oh. <laughs> I'm like super strong. Oh yeah? Yeah, I've bounced people's heads off my car. Oh damn. Yeah, I'm not a person to mess with. Yeah, definitely sounds like it. <laughs> I'm aggressive and I have anger issues. Yeah, I can tell from what you're telling me. Oh. <laughs> I'm the ultimate badass. I am John Wick. I swear they just watch heaps of action movies. Yeah, I'm a badass as well. I'm not somebody to mess with. Dude, bouncing people's heads off your car. Uh, is not cool. <laughs> oh my god. So, I was the best athlete in high school and no one knew about it. I played no sports after school because it interfered with me getting... <laughs> but the baseball coach and the football coaches begged me to play on their teams. The football coach offered me money. In college, the football coach saw me walking around and figured I played sports and asked me to come out to practice. I told him no, but thanks. He bugged me 10 times my freshman year. After college, I decided to try out for the San Francisco 49ers. I made the team, but I decided not to play as I made more money as a stockbroker. But yeah, I could have been a Hall of Famer in multiple sports. Bro, it's not impressive to talk about what you could have been. <laughs> Jesus, man, anybody can do that. They just saw me walk past and they begged me to join their team because I'm literally the world's best athlete. LeBron James brains his right ankle in Lakers loss to Hawks out indefinitely. I dislocated my wrist. I didn't know it for three days. Continued to work and work out until it popped itself back into place. <laughs> what an overdramatic sook. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this sort of stuff is so cringy. Look at me, everyone. I'm tougher than LeBron James, okay? Does anyone actually care? <laughs> like, for real. The sky is above me. Earth is below me. People are around me, but the devil is within me. Oh, my God. 
god. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying in terror. How are there so many badasses in the world? Checking someone's work and I saw a mistake. Me, what's wrong here? Silent, and I hate waiting. Me, gives the work back. Get back to me when you have the right answer. Then someone reported to me the person was already crying. The title says proud of not helping his employees. Really? Somebody's treating their employees like this. Are you joking? What? I hope not. There's nothing cool about that. For real though, people like that suck. <laughs> How did your driving theory test go, mate? Funny you ask, mate. I was the last one this morning and the guy was already angry because I made him wait. And then the middle finger emoji. He was telling us all the rules, etc. And he was like, you need 44 out of 50 to pass. I was like, is that it? He gave us an hour and I finished in 16 and I get this. I only answered 44 and he was like, you still have six questions to answer. And I said, nah, I know what I've done is right, so why do more? He shook his head and submitted the answers. He gasped when I saw I passed and said, no one has ever done that before. I told him to give me the paper and shut up. Last one in, first one out too. How do you even respond to that? Like, surely they didn't respond. <laughs> All they did was put it on this subreddit. Because what can you actually say to that? You passed a driving test and were super rude to the person running it. Bravo, dude. <laughs> no, mas, I enjoy my freedom. Yeah, have fun getting these nuts in your mouth when you leave with no mask. You go ahead and try and I'll knock your teeth out. Still not wearing a useless mask. FYI, my state doesn't mandate it. <laughs> Someone's mad that my nuts aren't in their mouth yet. You're like, wherever you stand on that sort of stuff, you're not a badass just for saying it on social media. Like, oh, look at me. I'm not going to wear a mask. Okay, dude. Like, it doesn't make you a cool badass because you're not going to wear a mask. Like when Bart gets his ears pierced. An earring, how rebellious in a conformist sort of way. You don't know me, but I highly advise you to read this thoroughly and in its entirety. You are to cease any and all communication with so-and-so effective immediately. You are not to contact her for any reason whatsoever. Oh my God, is this another bloody jealous boyfriend? You are not to answer her calls, texts, etc. Is that understood? It is not in your best interest to ignore me. I have a very bad temper and you do not want to see it get away from me. You will send me some sort of confirmation that you are receiving receiving my messages and that you will comply fully. Oh my god, dude, get over yourself, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have a Tor browser and plenty of disposable income. Yeah, here we go. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm rich. I work on the deep web. I have a six pack <laughs> and I am the biggest badass of all time and all the free time in the world, kiddo. Do not test me. It is remarkably easy to make someone disappear. This is your last chance to respond before you end up in a red room. Never let it be said that I am not fair you had your chance, kiddo, but you've chosen to ignore all my generous warnings and you'll soon learn the lengths I'm willing to go for my soulmate. Expect company, frick boy. Yeah, and that's like pretty much the last thing you say before you go to jail. <laughs> now you're bloody threatening people, dude. Oh my God. Why do these people do it to themselves? Like you're better off not saying anything. That's my philosophy on anything. Like if you get angry, it's a really old stoicism thing. When you're angry, don't say anything. <laughs> you know, you're either going to say the wrong thing you're going to make a fool out of yourself. You're going to say something that you regret saying. That's pretty much what this entire subreddit is. Like, dude, <laughs> like, come on. I don't think so. I practice boxing and I'm six foot two, 189 centimeters and 90 kilograms. Also, I play basketball, soccer and gym. I am very athletic. I have no idea what that is, but I'm glad you're good at it. Okay, so someone put this on their wife's car, I guess. Any son of a bitch that sells my wife a new filter will be better beaten senseless. Thanks. A permanent air filter clean with K&N. Oh god, yuck. Imagine putting that on your wife's car. And like what, a mechanic's gonna do a service on your car and they're gonna wanna change the air filter and then they're gonna read that. These people can't be adults, can they? These people are just big children. Everyone at my school hates me, but it's because I am the alpha wolf. And they're just little sheep that I can eat up in one second. Oh god, guys, let's do like two more. I can't take any more badasses today. Day. Someone else can have my poison. Okay, so I'm sure they're talking about the vaccine. Anyone trying to force this crap on me will have a bad day. Probably their last. Like, yeah, okay, dude, whatever. It's like the same thing as the mask, you know? If you don't want to, you know, whatever. You know, you're entitled to your opinion. But saying this sort of stuff does not make you a badass. Okay, so this is on a video of a mountain lion. Even without a pistol, if you're a good-sized grown man, you can take one on. Yeah, you'll have stitches and staples for sure, but you'll live. I 
Okay, so we can already guarantee that this person has no idea what they're talking about <laughs> and has probably never seen a mountain lion. LMAO, yeah, okay, go fight one. Apparently, you're a small, fragile person if you have no confidence. Six foot four, 280 pounds, and I work out daily. I think I'll manage against an overgrown cat. It's not a panther or a tiger, dude. Lol. Let me guess, you think a coyote would kill a large grown man as well? Lol. A mountain lion would bloody rip you to shreds. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, guys, I am so out of here. I can beat the crap out of whoever is arguing with me on Twitter. Just a reminder. Yeah, but you won't. <laughs> because you're arguing on Twitter. <laughs> like, I understand what he's going for. Chances are I'm probably stronger than the people that I'm arguing with on Twitter. But to actually post that online, that's another thing. No mask, please. This is a gun shop. We shoot people with masks, just saying. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I haven't even had to wear one yet because I don't live around people. But it's really not that big of a deal, is it? Come on. If I wanted to hurt you, you would have died that day. <laughs> That's 100 million percent a joke. And a good one at that. I can imagine Snapchatting somebody that. You're just joking around with your friends. Like, you know what, buddy? If I wanted to hurt you, you would have died. I'm sure this guy is an absolute legend. Who let their mum on Instagram? Oh my God. Don't freak with me with a picture of her holding a pistol at the camera. This is one of those ones where I have no idea if she's being serious or not. Like, it's pretty funny if she's joking, but you also can't really tell. Because as we've learned on this channel, a lot of people are crazy. If only there was a way of blocking numbers, you know, as a joke. Do you live under a rock? Obviously, you can block a phone number from contacting you. I would also recommend blocking them on all social media too. If they persist after this, you contact me. I'll show them what happens to guys who disrespect females. <laughs> A milady protector, a nice guy, a gentleman, a fedora tipper, um, whoosh. <laughs> Just another guy who takes everything seriously. Like, have a laugh, dude. It won't kill you. And also, so insulting the way that he talks about women. Those poor, helpless, fragile women. If you need me to save the day, I'm here. I will be your knight in shining armor. Ding, ding, ding. Nice guy alert. Okay, so this one, they're genuinely talking about a ram. Crappy parenting. Yes, but I probably would have grabbed the sheep by the horns and twisted its neck off. Oh yeah, dude, totally. R slash I am very badass. Yeah, it's really not badass to talk about what you would do <laughs> on the internet while you're probably sitting on the couch. I'm not trying to shame you, buddy. I'm sitting down right now. I'm relaxing, but I'm not bragging on Reddit. Oh my God, yes, one of these Facebook t-shirts. Never underestimate a man who was born in May. Even the devil on my shoulder sometimes whispers, what the hell are you up to now? I need to get one of those shirts. <laughs> Never underestimate somebody named Vince. They're cool, they're smart and they're ultimately dope. Maybe I should bring out the ugliest merch of all time <laughs> and it'll just be something like that. Never underestimate a Vincey subscriber. <laughs> I just dropped my main friend. Think I care? Don't be fake. I don't tolerate that crap. You get dropped on the spot. I am a really firm believer in surrounding yourself good people and sort of minimize the time that you spend with people that bring you down. You know, you only have so much energy in a day. You need people that motivate you, not people that tear you down. But I just get the feeling that that's not what's going on here. Unmasked, unmuzzled, unvaccinated, unafraid. The title says, and uneducated. Yeah, I've seen better t-shirts, that's for sure. I bench over 400 pounds and I push Corvettes. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, like that's what you do? Or like you can push a Corvette. Is that what you do for a living? You push Corvettes? That's amazing, dude. Keep up the good work. I used to pull my gun out on mother flippers when they messed up my stuff. Had to stop when they got the cops involved one time. And they let me off with a warning because they knew the type of dangerous person I was. Strong arm and 100. Edit. Here y'all go again, downvoting. Does that crap make you feel superior or something? What do you gain 
from it. Wow, dude. <laughs> Does that make you feel superior or something? That's why you just wrote what you just wrote. To make you seem more cool, more badass, and more superior than everyone. Look at me, I'm a tough guy. <laughs> I've never seen a crocodile with fear in its eyes. Hippos are terrifying. Lol, hippos are weak as hell. I mean, I guess if you're a scared beta boy, I'm six foot four, 270 pounds, all muscle with over nine years of mixed martial arts training, and I would dismember a hippo with my bare hands. I would beat his ass and then take on any other goddamn hippo who thinks that I'm not a worthy opponent. Bro, just about any size hippo would kill you. They're huge and they're probably slippery. Just because you know mixed martial arts, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna put a hippo in an arm bar until they tap out? <laughs> no, they're gonna eat you. And that is so obvious. There's no way this guy has ever seen a hippo in real life. He's probably confused them with a different animal. If that lion tries that with me, I'd punch it in the goddamn throat. R uh, slash I'm very badass. Yeah, you just wouldn't, dude. Lion probably even more so than a hippo. You're gonna die. <laughs> even if you did get to punch a lion in the throat, it's not like that's gonna be the end of the lion. It's gonna be like, oh, this human just touched me. <laughs> now I'm going to eat them. Okay, so this one is a spot sponsored ad on Instagram. If you love two people at the same time, choose the second because if you really love the first one, you wouldn't have fallen for the second. Bro, why is that an ad? <laughs> what are you promoting? Just your profile? Who's going to look at that and be like, yes, <laughs> I absolutely love this guy. I need to follow him right now. Be kind to animals or I'll kill you. I like this one. We need more badasses like this. A badass with a good message. To all the haters out there that don't like me smoking weed. I doubt that you have haters, dude. A lot of people that think that they have haters really don't have haters. Like, I don't even think I really have haters. To all my haters out there. Okay, man. <laughs> if you throw a punch at me like that, I will eat it, headbutt you, and talk evil as I throw you to the ground before commencing to utterly letting loose what God gave me. Oh. <laughs> what are you talking about? And apparently this was just on a video of a guy that was just punching like just to film himself punching to see what he looked like when he punched and then this guy comes along if you throw a punch at me like that i'll eat it and then i'll let loose on what god gave me i am satan sometimes even the devil is shocked with what i do this guy has tattoos on the back of his legs that say trample the weak and hurdle the dead and like obviously he wants everybody to see it and think that he's an absolute badass because it's on the back of his legs. Oh, man. <laughs> this subreddit is so good. <laughs> These people actually think they're living in a video game. How do you dudes control your anger? If you piss me off, I'll show you how I control mine. 100, 100, 100. The wall always wins, bud. Yeah, what? Really? Another person that's going around and ruining their house? Losing your temper does not make you a tough guy. It makes you weak. You can't control your emotions, obviously. You don't just flip out whenever you want to. <laughs> Can you imagine if everybody on earth just completely went berserk every time they were angry? The entire world would be complete chaos. The amount of times people would want to do stuff like this or like want to yell at someone or want to punch a wall, but you don't actually do it. I live in Idaho. Love it. Open carry state. Openly hate liberals. It's nice. People who open carry have small peens. Yes, micro peen. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but just in the context of this, that's really funny. But we'll shoot you in the face with my Sig Sawyer? If you frick with me, <laughs> I rest my case. And not all of us are masters in Kung Fu. Really? <laughs> I'm a Kung Fu master. <laughs> you know, like if you actually have a black belt in anything like that, you're not going to call yourself a master. <laughs> I bet you this person is like 14, 100%. And also saying not all of us are masters in Kung Fu... Well, that's kind of obvious. <laughs> Doesn't really matter where you live. Not everybody is a master in Kung Fu, except me. <laughs> okay, so this person's name online is Bruce Lee. If I was your brother, I would let your husband know right after that he's taking a 
fading or don't come back because I ain't letting that go unnoticed. You're going to mess around and get hurt. My name is literally Bruce Libra. Lol. Plus, I am already hurt. He drew first blood, not me. Ha ha ha, thumbs up. Oh, I <laughs> hope you're okay. My name is literally Bruce Libra. Lol. So that automatically means what? You're a good fighter? Somebody doesn't know how names work. Okay, so a badass talking about the Canelo and Saunders fight. There's nothing wrong with losing. Quitting, on the other hand, is shameful. Yeah, quitting after your eyeball is hanging out of its socket. How shameful of him. If my two eye sockets were broken, my jaw was broken, my teeth were out, my nose was smashed, my brain was beaten. I was not stopping until I was knocked out or worse. Oh my god, who do you think you're impressing? Tweeting stuff like that. <laughs> no one thinks you're a badass when they read that. They're like, oh my god, I don't want to go anywhere near that guy. And not because he's too much of a badass. I don't fantasize about, you know what? I just have zero reason to care for a single human out there. Well, that's really sad. Every single human is garbage. Not true. So if someone dies, oh, freaking well. Guess one of the billions of others will take their place. You obviously live a nice, entitled, rich BH life. Talking about home insurance and crap. Ridiculous. Try growing up poor and tell me how it goes trying to watch someone walk out with your TV. Here's a hint, you won't. If they see you, they end you. R slash I am very badass. If someone's stealing your TV, they're not necessarily just gonna, like, bloody try and kill ya. What? I've known people that have had stuff stolen before, and they're just literally trying to sell it to make money. They're usually not murderers. This guy's just trying to make his story seem real tough. Just once, I want to see these experts go against someone who is trying. I remember embarrassing the self-defense instructor in college. He tried to karate chop my neck and broke several fingers. These people are all jokes. Oh, dude. Really? A self-defense instructor tried to karate chop your neck and broke several fingers. What, because you've got a really hard neck? If you're karate chopping something fast enough to break your fingers, it sounds like she could have hit just about anything and it would have broke her fingers. I feel like this has less to do with being a badass and more to do with just not karate chopping stuff. Pretty much my life, ha <laughs> ha. I remember getting jumped by three thugs when I was walking home with my wife after dinner and little did they know I was training with MMA athletes for the past five months. They learned what self-defense was that day. Let me know if none of you understand what I mean. I know Redditors don't go out much, so things like MMA and self-defense are a bit out of y'all's dictionary. This one could have happened, but this guy just has a really bad attitude about it. You know, has a super tough guy mentality, like, oh yeah, I'm such a badass. <laughs> I destroyed these guys. Or maybe it's completely made up. Who knows? This guy's wearing a t-shirt that says, I don't call 911. Oh, takes too long to get the old flip phone out. I love Reddit comments. They're so funny. Like I was going to say, like maybe it was a gift or maybe he doesn't. Nah, you definitely know that you're wearing that, don't you? Like, oh, nice. You're tough. I'll stay away from you. What I do every day has not been approved by God, Satan, Jesus, or humanity. What do you do? <laughs> what? I'm such a badass. <laughs> Satan kicked me out of hell. Wait, so it's not approved by God, Satan, Jesus, or humanity. Is it something really weird? Like, maybe this guy's not trying to be a badass. They're trying to be like, yeah, <laughs> I'm into some freaky stuff. I want him to put his shoe on one of their throats. Then I come in behind with a kick to the temple and watch the life leave their eyes. Hear the audible crack. Everyone stops. What the hell did you do? Laughs. Holy crap, I messed up. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're so crazy. <laughs> I just don't like how they're so proud of it, you know? Like, yeah, I'm insane. It makes me cool. Like, that's the thing. It really isn't cool to be like this. Yeah, I'd absolutely destroy that guy. Kick him in the temple until I hear an audible crack. Most people grow out of this sort of stuff. Like, I just hope they do. Remember, if I keep being rude, you will lose my temper. What? <laughs> you will lose my temper and I will beat you up and I will not regret even if they expel me from school. LMAO. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, okay. If I keep being rude, you will lose my temper and I will beat you up and I will not regret even if they expel me from school. No, don't get expelled from school. Like, listen, man, I'm gonna lose your temper. Yeah, that would really be interesting if you lost my temper. How did you do that? Ultimate badass. Just a guy with a katana. Don't frick with me. Nah, no way. I respect anybody who's wielding a katana. They might be words I never thought I'd say, but come on. I'm 99% sure they're joking and it's just a funny Snapchat. Look, if somebody's actually taking a selfie threatening other people with their katana and they're not joking, that's insane. Like, I actually probably would be scared. I've gotten away with a moida. I know the laws. Oh, what? I hope not. And like, obviously not. Like, you know, I don't think we have to worry about that. Some random person on Discord. Oh, yeah, I got away with it a few times. No problem whatsoever. Bert and I know the laws. And like, I'm glad I doubt it. I don't want that to be true. It wouldn't make you a badass. It would make you in prison. I'm a combat medic and I grew up in foster care in the poorest city in the US. I could wipe the floor with you, you little... Oh, what? Looking twerp. Learn some respect before someone bashes your dumb looking face in. Oh, that's so sad. Just imagine saying that to somebody online. <laughs> I think it's wholesome memes time, guys. No, I know it's wholesome memes time. Getting dressed up for a date with a hot girl so she might sleep with me. No, no, no. Getting dressed up for a date with my mum to show her that her hard work in raising a respectable man paid off. No. <laughs> so cute, so lovely, and so wholesome. Look, mum, you made an absolute legend. Bed doesn't ask questions. Bed doesn't judge. Bed is warm and soft. Bed is always there for you. Bed is nice. Yeah, but like, it's also evil when you're trying to wake up. I like to get up early, and a lot of the time I get up at 10 to 6. And like, I know a lot of people get up earlier than that, but for me, that's pretty early. My bed is evil when I'm trying to get up at 10 to 6. It's like, no, 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 come back here. It's comfortable. It's warm. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's cold out there. Come back. But yes, bed is beautiful and I want to go to bed right now. Me bonding with the one internet friend that I never met, but they totally understand me. Yeah, it's so cool. Like the internet is amazing. There are so many like-minded cool people out there that you've never met and you can reach them through the internet. Like that's so awesome. Like the fact that you guys watch my videos. It's amazing. Yesterday I was walking around in my badass gladiator sandals, which give me an extra two inches of height and feel I'm pretty good about myself. People were moving out of their way for me as if I were a celebrity. I eventually passed this one guy, a kid really, who did what I call new cat calling. He did this thing where as he passed, he whispered his gross message. He said something to the effect of, I'm gonna tear that you know what up. I'm not taking crap from some kid, especially one I'm taller than and can kick the living crap out of. Without missing a beat, I immediately turned around and shouted, what was that, huh? You are gonna do what? The kid started walking faster, head down. You're not gonna do crap, you P-word ass coward, you ding-dongless F-word. That's right, kerp on walking, you weak little B-arch. He never did crap, guys, never do. He never even turned around. For those of you concerned for my personal safety, thank you. But I'm literally always fine. It's odd being this tall and busty and beautiful. Oh my god, what? <laughs> With great power comes great responsibility. If you and I are out and things turn dicey, get behind me. What, you think you can fight just because you're tall? <laughs> And like the way that they said this, it made it seem like they were looking for a fight as well. It's a good thing you had your gladiator sandals on. I spent Earth Day throwing an axe at a tree. Like that'd probably be fun and satisfying, but like are you trying to say that you don't like the Earth or you love the Earth and you're out in nature, but you're an absolute badass. This is why I beat up Catholics. Those chums ought to stay out of the Irish side of town where they belong. Hashtag proud protestant. I am very badass. No, you aren't, little boy. I am. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>
has absolutely no idea. That's so funny. <laughs> You're not a badass. I am. <laughs> oh, that's the best thing I've read all day. That's amazing. Yes, buddy. That's what they're saying. I met some girl on Discord on the 13th of this month. Me and her were talking about anime and the types of shows we watched. I was interested to know if she did what I did. I sometimes think about ending people. She does too. Even went on to tell me how she wouldn't feel bad for ending anyone. Not even her her parents. Then she told me how she wanted to end someone before she dies. Me too, I think. After that she was like, it doesn't matter, you're not gonna tell the cops. That kinda left me shook even though she was right. She then went on to ask if I'd tell on her if she did do it. I said, why would I give a frick about who you and she said she liked me. Probably as in someone she knows ain't a snitch. After that and told me to stick around. I'm still in contact with her. Are you sure you didn't just watch that in an anime? Like that that seems so dramatic and so like a part of a storyline for a TV show. I'm just realizing that almost all of the subreddits that we check out are basically the same as Cringetopia. Everything is cringe. I go into every store I can, maskless, eyeballing the person obviously there to enforce masks if that's the store policy, even though the state mandate was lifted. I'm 100% prepared to get in their face and ask them if they're ready to die over this tyranny and inform them they do not know that's what it will come to. Nobody said a word to me and I'm a little guy. Call their bluff. Don't wait around to get removed by police for trespassing if they'll do that where you are. Do get to know your county sheriff and your local chiefs of police. Oh, dude. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> These sorts of people remind me of like doomsday preppers in the sense that it feels like they've been waiting for this moment for their entire life. Like, yes, I can be a total badass and I can be super rude to people and I can just <laughs> be a public nuisance. You can believe whatever you want, but like, don't get up in people's faces and be super rude to them. That's who I really feel sorry for. Like, the people that work at these jobs that already don't want to be there. <laughs> and then they have to deal with these sorts of people. I bet. So you was one of the dudes that jumped my boys last night. Alright, sweet. Hey, just know, G, your life with us, you fricked with the wrong people. Because now we're coming after you. And whoever you was with, we see any one of y'all, and either you're gonna actually die or be in a coma. One of the two. So you better be looking over your back every time you step outside because with us you don't. When we gonna come and <laughs> step outside because with us you don't know when we're gonna come and we're gonna come hard. So count your blessings little man because they're gonna be gone just like you. Your ass looks sweeter than a tart. Damn my little bro could probably whoop your ass. That's why y'all need six versus two and still almost lost your pee word ass ho, clearly you can't fight either. And apparently this guy has absolutely no idea who this is. Imagine if they were like, oh sorry wrong person, <laughs> have a wonderful rest of your day. I accidentally sent this to the wrong guy. I bully people too, I'm with you. Show us a pick then, hero. Here I'll go first. 40 years old, 5 foot 10, 180 pounds, father of two, bench my body weight for reps 3 days a week, the other days are legs and abs. And my wife who's still in her 20s, by the way, can scrub the whites on my obliques. But to be fair, I have, you know, wadded men on three continents, likely before you knew how to read. But hey, healthy at any size, am I right? And apparently they were commenting and basically being proud of bullying somebody for being overweight. Oh my god. Grown adults doing this sort of stuff. Oh, that's no good. Heaven doesn't want me and hell is afraid I would take over. <laughs> I am very badass. And you just know that they'd respond and be like, yep, that's me, <laughs> the ultimate badass. Okay, so this person added somebody on Snapchat out of nowhere and said this, listen here, you little crap, you're only tough here where I can't reach you. You wouldn't say this to my face. You would be destroyed so freaking hard I would take your life without hesitation. I already know where you live, this was just a test. Let's see if you're as tough as here when I come. I've got a beast caged inside me and I'm about to let it loose and rip you to freaking shreds, kid. Looks at you ang- No, this can't be real. Looks at you angrily, eyes turning red from the rage. Next time, don't be such a arch online. And don't mess with real men. Nah, nah, nah. There's no way somebody unironically just used asterisks and said, looks at you angrily, eyes turning red from rage. Oh god, I hope that's real. That's glorious. Okay, let's do a couple of wholesome memes. Me on my way home from work, bringing my wife flowers just because. The 
purple I always. Oh, <laughs> how beautiful. Seatbelt, check. <laughs> Lovely partner, check. How precious. Kids in the back seat when they signal to truck drivers to honk their horn and they do. <laughs> what sort of magical power do I possess? Like in that Simpsons episode. <laughs> little punk. I'm the reason your dad double checks the front door at night. Don't get it confused. And somebody put that on their Instagram story. <laughs> Why? I like to imagine that they're actually just talking about people's dads. Everybody's dad hates me, but people's mums don't have an issue with me. I cut myself in nine places with a saw and I probably needed stitches. I just yelled Oh crap, now my sore is bloody. And I walked home with a blood-coated hand. Why though? You know, like that's not something to brag about. I hope you're okay. All of these people are trying super hard to be badass. And I'm just like, I hope you're okay. <laughs> I'm always here for you. Alpha males do not exist. In fact, the term alpha wolf was disavowed by the very scientist something something. Something, something. Yeah, I'd love to challenge this beta to a fight and see the multitude of reasons he comes up with to avoid a black eye that heals in a couple days. Awkward crap man living life afraid to live. What? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a badass. <laughs> Take that, all you betas. It is me, King Alpha Wolf. Bro, relax. <laughs> I'm getting scared. I'd love to fight someone with a helmet on. He can feel the full power of my lunch without getting knocked out. <laughs> um, can I feel the power of your lunch? <laughs> Are we gonna have a lunch together? Honestly, sounds like a good time. I'm super down for it. What are we gonna have for lunch? <laughs> oh, I can't wait for our lunch date. <laughs> Yay. I mean, I personally can lift that much and a lot more, so it isn't a problem. Problem. But yeah, the average guy shouldn't. Yeah, you know, like maybe they're right, but it still sounds so bad. <laughs> I mean, I personally am stronger than every other person in existence, but that's just me. Yo, she bad as hell. What do you mean by that? Huh? That's not funny joke or not you still had knee jail. If I find your address and name, you better pray I forgot this. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> what did you say? Sorry, I just missed the last thing you said. <laughs> and the first thing you said. As far as I know, this one is somebody who, like, works with paint or something. I wish I could say that I spat in his paint, but I digress. I made his paint in under five minutes because I just wanted him out of there at that point. As I was tinting the paint, he had the audacity to tell me he only needed one wing nut and since he found one on the floor he was gonna keep it as if he knew that I really wanted to punch him square on his crooked nose but couldn't. I'm having so much fun reading these posts. I really hate getting underestimated just because I'm a 5 foot 3 little girl. Little do they know I lift 5 gallon paint buckets every day dog. I won't hesitate to knock you down on your ass if and when I can. Until then, I'll act like the stupid girl they treat me as. Since they know so much, they can help themselves. I don't care anymore. Wait a second, was this entire thing just somebody complaining about their job? Yeah, they're just venting about their bad customers. Oh, <laughs> listen, I really hope everything's okay, but knocking people out with paint buckets is not the answer. Never a frick with a fricked up fricker that doesn't give a frick. And it's captioned Hell yes, we dangerous. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> the fact that people take a post like that seriously is so funny. It's like the worst, cringiest thing of all time. And people are like, yeah. <laughs> this really represents me. Be vigilant. Your security is an illusion. It could 
could all collapse tomorrow. Peace, democracy, and prosperity are not the norm in history. Suffering is. The fittest will survive to make stronger people, not snowflakes with sociology degrees and pink hair. And this is just on an Instagram photo. Wow. Like, I don't even know what to say anymore. Oh, you're just a snowflake with pink hair. Yeah, I'm starting to see why we didn't make a video on this for a long time. It's simply too scary, but not in the way that these people intended. Even I could have beaten Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson in a fight. <laughs> oh, wow. Here we go. They were like an alpha wolf. They were only strong because of their pack. What pack? They didn't fight in groups. <laughs> what are you talking about? A 1v1 street fight would be overkill. Punch first, punch hard, and you take it. Doesn't matter if they're the Iron Mike or the legendary Bruce Lee. Rigged child's play. Come out and fight like a man. Yeah, there's a reason that people who actually know how to fight, like, barely ever fight. You know, like the people that think they're a badass and think that they can knock people out. They're the ones that get hurt really badly. You know, it's not a good situation and you're not a man because you get in street fights. But hey, we probably shouldn't take this seriously because they literally started it by saying, even I could have beaten Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson in a fight. Yeah, that just doesn't sound like something that's true, you know? <laughs> it just sounds like a lie. Somebody's bio on their Facebook, I am no one to be trifled with. That's all you ever need to know. Wow, um, okay. <laughs> and that's just going out to all of your Facebook friends. Yeah, okay. I think I've read enough people trying to look tough for one day. Bring on the best segment in any YouTube video ever. Wholesome meme time. You suggested a game developer to add a feature to the game. You got a reply from him. He said that this is a great idea. He actually added your suggested feature to the game. Wow, that's awesome. Like, that would be the best feeling ever. <laughs> I am unstoppable. No, but seriously, this is the real badass. Oh, I don't feel pretty at all. Wow, mum, look. What a beautiful elephant. Oh, stop it. Are you talking to me? Oh, now I'm blushing. <laughs> I'm the prettiest elephant ever. Me listening to my friend talking about their new partner for the first time. Time. Me listening to my friend talking about their partner for the hundredth time. Aww. <laughs> I could listen to this all day. Thank you again for watching another one of my videos. I really appreciate it, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and make sure you subscribe. All that fun stuff. And the comment of the day today goes to I'm weak for Deaky. I'm loving that Vincey's icky, icky, gross, gross yuck has become an international pop culture culture reference. It's actually so strange. Like, I'll be scrolling on Reddit and I'll see it somewhere. Or I'll see it in a comment section somewhere. And it's like, wow, that's something I said in, I think it was a Men Riding Women video, like a year ago. And now other people are saying it. It's so cool, but it's also really strange. But every single time I see it somewhere, I smile and I'm like, ah, <laughs> our community is amazing. And and on that note, have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you next time.